Hi guys. So this is just a very short video on uh, vinyasa, vinyasa, vinyasa. So I'm not, talk, I'm not talking about the vinyasa as a practice, but vinyasa as a kind of in between a movement, in between the flows, the a sequence of movements we do in Ashtanga, flow yoga, uh, in between the flows. So instead of, it's like active rest. Yeah, so when you come to your class and if you're quite new to yoga and the instructor is saying, and now we move through vinyasa and you don't have a scooby, what's happening, okay? So just a quick one. So your vinyasa basically starts from, um, Wherever you finish, so your vinyasa is here. So you go into your plank, full vinyasa is you go chaturanga, you move into back extension, you move into the end dog, okay? And we treat every movement in a sequence as a, po as a pose, as a pose, as a, like a yoga posture, okay? So we don't go like, okay you need to breathe you need to allow for breath every posture is a breath if it's a very slow vinyasa feel free to stay there for a few breaths in every single segment of the vinyasa okay so we're gonna break it down now so your vinyasa can start in a plank instead of a plank you can always come down on your knees okay so there's, there's no right or wrong Taking your tailbone and a little bit more of a shift of your low, lumbar spine, lower back towards the back of the mat. Engage, hold. Okay, the next movement is so we inhale here. On your next out breath, move it into chaturanga. Instead of chaturanga, you can just gently bend your elbows or just hold your plank. Again, just depends on where you are. Your chaturanga is here. And if you do have chaturanga, please don't drop it all the way down here okay chaturanga is about 90 degrees here so it's like you're supporting your body on top of your elbows it's quite hard to talk and do it <laughs> so we shift your weight forward basically elbows are almost above your wrists tuck your tailbone under you don't need to drop you are not benefiting from it on the next inhale but again you don't need to do it you can just stay on all fours we'll move into a back extension which can be a baby cobra which can be cobra, cobra from here, which can be an up dog. Yeah, which you also don't need to do. So you can always keep your hips on the mat. On the next out breath, we move into down dog. The move you can move either by coming back onto your knees or you can move straight into down dog. Okay. So we treat it all as a series of Movements, okay? Plank, inhale, exhale, inhale, back extension, exhale, then dog. Hopefully it makes sense. And then if you want to miss out on the whole transition, okay, if you're not ready to do so many of those transitions, you can just go straight into down dog or you can come into any stretch of the choice as in you can just take child pose, take a couple of cat cows or just chill in a down dog. So for some people, down dog is not a very much, I want to chill in that pose, uh, posture, okay? <sighs> I have to breath now. <laughs> so play with it, have fun and enjoy the practice. Bye.